Hey guys, KR here, and welcome to the 500 slash 600 subscriber special featuring my mom. Hi! So, we're going to be reading off the questions that you all have asked me and my mom um, from Twitter, and also the many videos that we have posted on my channel for um, the questions for me as well as for her. And what we're going to do is, if there is a question for me, my mom is going to be reading off the questions, and then I will answer them. And if there's a question for her, I will read off the question, and then she can answer it. So we're going to start on Twitter, and let's see what we've got. Okay, from Sean Heiser Hall, to Kiba, where did you come up with the idea of half-wolf and half-human? Good question. Well, I came up with the idea of half-wolf, half-human after watching uh, multiple animes of wolves and human. Um, the one I was, uh, well, the ones I was most intrigued by were the anime Spice and Wolf and Wolf's Reign. I was really impressed with how each wolf and human interacted with one another, and especially how the wolf Holo was designed. So, I went off her design for the ears and tail, and I went off for Kiba in Wolf's Reign for hair color and also a little bit of attitude. Nice. <laughs> okay, and from Zach Plays MC, Kiba, have you considered a new microphone by chance? I think it would help a lot, not dissing your current one. I have thought of getting a new microphone. I currently use a newer Northwest 700 microphone. Um, this was the first microphone I bought, and it was the cheapest one I could find. Well, not the cheapest one I could find, but the cheapest one I could find that could actually work. So uh, I got it, and I've been using it since the beginning, and I have been wanting to get a new microphone for a while, but unfortunately I don't have a lot of money. So I'm saving up for a Blue Yeti microphone later on. But, uh, yeah. So, it's going to be um, a while before I get a new microphone, but I'm pretty sure it'll be here soon. So, hang tight. All right, and another one from Zach. Have you considered collaborations, or have you wanted to collab with a certain person? If so, with who? I have been wanting to collab with people. I'm collabing right now with my mom, as ah. you guys can hear. <laughs> I hear. <laughs> and uh, what I'm also, I'm wanting to collab um, with a lot of people with ASMR. Um, I've also collabed with my friend Holo, who's a fox. Um, if you guys haven't uh, heard her yet, um, well, if you, if you haven't got... <laughs> If you guys haven't heard me and her talk to each other, then you can check out the link to the video with a little annotation that's going to pop up in the right corner right now. Um, she and I reenact the famous bit, Who's on First, by Ebot and Costello, which was a lot of fun, but pretty frustrating as well, especially for her, because she's the guy who's confused on who is on first. But um, the, there is one person I want to collab with, and he's actually one of the reasons I got into ASMR, and he's Cardlin Audio. If you guys haven't seen him, check out his link in the description. He's a great guy. He's a nice guy. And, uh, Cardlin, if you are listening to this, you will collab with me one day. I will have you! Okay. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another one from Zach. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Zach asks, would you be interested in a person helping you make thumbnails? Yes, I would. I... Nice. I um I work on the thumbnails myself, as you guys can tell with all my videos, and a lot of the times, unfortunately, my hand gets really sore after making them, especially with uh, my animations that I do, with my wolf running and certain announcements with me moving on screen, and uh, also some other animations that I'm working on, but I won't say right now. Um, but yeah, if you guys are artists and or are wanting to help me, that would be great. And, you know, I love artwork and I love thumbnails, so if you guys have any uh, thumbnail ideas for any types of scripts, you can let me know. You can message me on Facebook, message me on Twitter, message me even on Tumblr, and I will respond. I'm very nice doing that. Great. Okay, thanks for your series of questions, Zach. The last one is... 
How long do you plan to do ASMR for? I plan to do ASMR for a pretty long time. I, uh, I don't see the end coming near my channel, um, pretty soon. Like, I'm not gonna end in, like, a month. I'm not gonna end in a year. No, nope, I'm gonna keep going until someone tells me to stop. And then I'll say, no, I'm not stopping. <laughs> but, <laughs> great. Well, thanks, Zach. Okay, Lord White asks, my question is, <laughs> Lord White asks, have you ever thought about making more characters like yours, but with other animals? I have, actually, and I have actually created some other characters that are like mine. I have a golden eagle, a deer, a moose, and I've even created some with uh, bugs. Like, one of them is uh, actually a dung beetle, and he's a pretty funny little guy, so I hope to show him off soon. Um, but yeah, I've created a lot of characters. Um, especially warrior cat characters, because if you guys know, I'm a big fan of the warrior series by my me reading uh, Warriors Into the Wild. Um, that's my favorite book series, and I enjoy reading it. So I have to do more warrior readings, even though it's they're not really my most popular videos. Okay. Last question. All right, and this is the last question on Twitter from Eric. Eric asked, uh, "Do you wait when it's a dead?" Eric asks, do you wait when it's dead end? <laughs> okay, I'm having a hard time answering. That's all right, Mom. Okay. Eric, do you wait when it's dead silent to record, and does it frustrate <laughs> you when outside noises interfere? It sometimes does annoy me when outside noises interfere. I actually live very close to railroad tracks, so sometimes a train will pass by, and I have to re-record everything once the train passes. And uh, I do wait until it is very quiet at night. In fact, right now, um, while my mom and I are recording this, it is 12.15 at night. So we gotta be, we gotta have silence in order to make sure there's uh, the least amount of noise possible for me to edit um, the noise out of my microphone. So that way you guys can hear my voice. Great. Thanks for your Twitter question. All right, that's the end of Twitter. Now on to uh, the videos. First uh, is the video of how to ask me questions, which I announced for how to um, ask me questions on Twitter. All right. So, um, our first question, Mom? Okay. Sky the Shink? Yeah, from Sky the Shink, 21. Okay. So I don't know if this will be for the Q&A video, but I'll ask anyway. First question, have you played any recent games? If so, which one did you like best? Two, do plan on continuing for a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you plan on continuing for a good while? Like, do you feel a burnout coming? Um, no burnouts. Definitely no burnouts. There's a lot of topics in the world that I want to touch upon in my ASMR videos, and uh, for your first question as well, um, I have been playing a lot of uh, Pokemon X and Alpha Sapphire. I uh, just got those games for Christmas, and uh, I'm really excited. My mom bought me them for Christmas, as well as the 3DS, and mom, thank you so much. You're welcome. Odyssey. Okay, has question. I have something. One, have you seen an alien? Um, no, I haven't, unless you count, uh, someone else in my house. <laughs> uh, number two, how do I uninstall Minecraft texture packs? That I don't know, but I can put some links in the description below for how to do that. Nice. Okay, and other question, great. What do you think about people who cyberbully the YouTuber with cancer? Who, Ian, Car Ian Carter. Oh, that's bad. Are there any strong words you'd like to get in through the cyberbullying? If there is somebody cyberbullying someone for cancer, they are just the lowest pieces of wow. crap I have ever seen. I mean, why would you make fun of someone who has cancer? That is disgusting. You are the most pathetic person in the world if you ever even consider it. There you go. <sighs> but wow. for people that are suffering with cancer that are getting cyberbullied, try not to engage with those types of people. We all know a troll when we see one, and honestly, it's best to ignore them as best you can. 
But if it does get out of hand, it is best to talk to someone you know that can help. For example, an adult, if you are under 18, or even talking to someone like me, or even other YouTubers that are wanting to, you know, wanting to help you. And I do. So, for those of you suffering with cancer, and for those of you doing dealing with cyber bullies, they are just... <sighs> cyber bullies are the worst. I've been cyber bullied before. I've been regular bullied, and my mom can vouch for that. Bullies are the worst. So, the best thing you can do is to tell people your story, and eventually, they, eventually, someone other than me will hear it. And you know what? If you guys want to help, check out any type of... Eh, I don't know what to say. I just, I just really don't. Well, can I help answer? I think, um, one of the things I think that helps is when we're nice to each other. And, um, nice comments have a tendency to outweigh the negative stuff and uh, keep those good comments coming for us. Okay. Jade Snow. Question for Kiba. If you could be any other animal, you can't choose wolves. No! What would you be? Ah, oh, come on. Wolves are my favorite animals. Why would you torture me? Huh. Um, I'm kidding. Um, I would be a centaur so i would be a horse because horses were originally my favorite animals when i was little oh yeah we have uh the video my mom helped me record with her voice uh so uh we're going to be trading off questions on here because i know that there are questions for my mom in here as well okay so um first question mom I, uh, we don't know how to spell the name. If we forget or spell your name wrong, um, or even, uh, mispronounce it, we're gonna put it right, uh, on the screen, so that way you can tell us how to pronounce it and who the question is being asked by. Um, Collectic, I think? Yeah. Okay. Collectic? For me? Um... I think uh, it could be for both of us. How do you deal with being alone? Um, pretty good, actually. Wolves, most of the time, are alone, even though we're pack animals. And uh, I've, I've been pretty much a loner all my life. When I was little, I would not want to hang out with other kids my age, nor did I ever want to go to school. But then I made friends, and I was like, I want to go to school, I want to hang out with my friends. But, you know, being alone is pretty okay for me. I just get time to think and time to draw. Okay. What about you, Mom? How do you uh, deal with being alone? I like being alone. I, I, when I'm with other people, I have a tendency to try to figure out what they want to hear, or, you know, I... I want to keep the conversation going, and when I'm alone, I just can be by myself, and I don't have to worry about being socially awkward. It's just me in the trees, and once in a while, a squirrel. So, <laughs> I like being alone. And sometimes I chase a squirrel out of habit. Ah, yeah. Okay, um, and the second question, why didn't you like Naruto? Naruto. Nah! I asked you before if you'd seen it, and you said yes, but you didn't like it. Why not? Well, I didn't really like Naruto because it didn't really connect to me on an emotional level. I mean, Naruto was a kid that lost his family when he was really young, and I didn't lose mine, you know. my. I will admit, though, and I don't know if my mom will approve, but my parents did get a divorce yeah. when I was little, and uh, that kind of affected me a little, but I still got to hang out with my dad, and I got to hang out with my mom, and my grandparents, and my uncles, and my aunts, and every other member of my family. And, uh, you know, my mom and dad are still good friends, so that's pretty much all I could ever ask for. Alright, um... Ha! And three. Sorry. I don't know. Biggest question. What are all the answers on my math test? I don't know, and even <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't be able to help you. I'm sorry. Awesome. Alright. So, um, for, oh, oh here's <laughs> one more. Riz Powell, for Kiba, is life good being a part wolf, human, <laughs> woman? <laughs> nice, I like that. Mm, 
being part wolf and part human, it has its advantages and it has its disadvantages. For example, um, because of my ears, I have really good hearing. However, if I'm ever at a concert, like at the Skillet concert I was at a few weeks ago, um, I have to wear earplugs and really good earplugs in order not to go deaf. And uh, with my tail as well, it, it's just a lot of fun, but sometimes I accidentally knock things over. <laughs> okay. All right. For Kiba's mom, are you aware that Kiba is a part wolf lady? I am now. <laughs> I am now. I'm learning a lot and, um, you know, I love her. Just love her. <laughs> so I, I do now. <laughs> You mean you didn't know I was part wolf? You gave birth to me! Well, you were a little more human looking then. <laughs> okay. Alright. Next is from Bismarck uh, Alvarado. Al Al um, I apologize again if my mom or I butcher your guys' names. Um, but they ask, Hi, Mrs. Kiba. Do you have an amazing... Wait, um, sorry. Uh, actually, no, this is just a nice comment for nice. you. Let's see. Bismarck says, Hi, Mrs. Kiva. You have an amazing daughter that's so hopeful and caring and kind. Everyone have a wonderful day. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. That, oh, that's sitting right in my heart. Thank you so much. All right. And, uh, let's see. Other supportive comments for my mom from Zactivity, America Friends 123. Snow K, uh, Neko Neko San, and uh, actually, this is also uh, a question as well. Great. And it is, um, on. Oh, for you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Kiba, is life as a part wolf similar similar to life as a part cat? Oh, also, Wolf Mom, you rock. Thanks for being so supportive to Kiba. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Answer the question. Okay. Well, being part wolf is not like being part cat. First of all, part cat, Nikos usually like to laze around and not do a lot. But with me, I like to do a lot of things, uh, of course, like I said, by myself because I've been a I've been a loner most of my life. And, uh, um, yeah, what can I say? I like to just be by myself and no, being part wolf is not the same as being part cat because... <laughs> Uh, when it's full moon, I turn into a werewolf and attack the villagers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. During a full moon, I just sit outside and just wait for the rain. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, another one from Sharkman. Okay, Sharkman. Hi, Kiba. Do you also listen to ASMR? And if so, then <laughs> who are your favorite ASMR channels? All right. Um, good. I do listen to ASMR. Sometimes I do listen to um, certain ASMR audios to help me get to sleep at night because I have pretty bad insomnia. Um, I actually listen to uh, Jiggy Wiggy ASMR, Cardlin Audio, as I mentioned before, uh, Gale Force Audio, and a few others like Cabin in the Woods and uh, Grey Knight. They're all really cool at what they do, and I really hope that I can collab with any of them one day because... They're awesome, and I, I want to do it. I want to collab with them. Okay. All right, uh, Riz Powell. Um, are you going to do a face reveal soon? No, <laughs> I am not, because that would just give away the whole who is Kiva thing. I'm doing uh, I'm doing a cryotic. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to reveal my face, but I am going to let people wonder what I do look like. Don't look behind that curtain. It's just, it's yeah. just, it's just me. Just her. <laughs> All okay, right. Okay, from Chris. Cats or dogs? Or sharks? Mmm, dogs. dogs. Favorite sci-fi? Star also from Chris. <laughs> it's okay. Favorite sci-fi? That's easy. It's Star Wars. Star Wars. Because it's a lot easier to follow than Star Trek. I mean, I love the actors on Star Trek. They're awesome, but I like I like Star Wars a little more thanks to Mark Hamill, not Harmon. I made that mistake in my Star Wars video, and I feel stupid that I didn't catch it until I published the video. And I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. It was not until someone pointed it out to me in the comments that I'm like, wait, did I really say that? And I was like, oh gosh. Yeah, I did. So... 
I like Mark Hamill and Mark Harmon, so I'm, 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 I like both of them, and I like Star Wars more than Star Trek. Okay. Nice. Guy? All right. Guy the Shink? Another question. Will Wolf Mom be in more ASMRs or only for special episodes? Also, which do you, Kiba and Wolf Mom, prefer Alien or Predator? Thanks, and have a good day. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah, I'd love to do more. Um, and Alien or Predator? Oh, I, I'm, I'm thinking Alien for me, just because it was the first one I saw. She can actually say that because you're, yeah, like about three times older than me. <laughs> I'm old enough. I saw Alien one in the uh, movie theater and so. Predator. <laughs> and oh, and I saw Predator. Yeah. All right. So for me. Um, I really do hope my mom will be in more ASMRs, um, later in the future. If you guys want to check out the first ASMR she was in, uh, in the little card that'll pop up right now, she was in the first Pokemon Trainer School special that I did, and, uh, for me, Predator or Alien, um, I have to go with Predator. I thought that was a really good kind of stealth movie, in my opinion. Yeah. All right. So, from, uh... Torabisu Gaming. Kiba, two things. Do you know I'm part fox? <laughs> <laughs> That's not to be offensive, it's true. <laughs> also, and when will the full part three of the thing, I can't remember what it's called, be published? I think the uh, full part three thing they're talking about is uh, the Should I Do It, which is the first oh, series yeah. that I did um, for ASMR. Um... Well, I was actually considering uh, putting the full audio here on YouTube because I originally had it as a Patreon reward, and uh, I do feel kind of bad that I put it on Patreon so soon, so I might actually put the full audio here on YouTube soon, but I can't be sure. And from your avatar, uh, Torabisu, I could tell that you were part fox. Hmm. All right, now for the next... Uh, session of questions which was the video i published yesterday for 600 subscribers and i'm still in shock that i got 100 subscribers from 100 in uh. one week <laughs> i'm i'm still in shock i i can't oh, my i know she's walking around she's just happy and it's been so great it's been so fun you guys are awesome I was freaking out so much. I had to get another ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Yeah, we so we celebrated. <laughs> so <laughs> when I hit 500, we got an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen, and we had that, and it was a lot of fun. And then, yeah, you know, a week later, 600 subscribers, and me and my editor had a big fight. Yeah. And if you guys don't know, my editor is me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lonely. No. <laughs> okay. So from the 600 subscribers video. We have <clears throat> our first question from, if I can scroll down all the way, uh, DJ the Night Court Inkling. Hey, Kiba, congrats. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Um, hey, Kiba, congrats <laughs> on hitting over 600 subscribers. You've earned it. That's awesome. Anyway, my question is, what's your favorite music, and do you like Undertale? My favorite music is uh, rock music. As my mom will tell you, I'm a big rock girl. Um, I'm a nerdy punk rock girl. I like uh, Skillet, Three Days Grace, um, Evanescence, Breaking Benjamin, Linkin Park, um, and uh, a lot of other of those awesome bands. And... Uh, of course I liked Undertale. I wouldn't have put Bone Trousel in my 600 sub Q&A. Well, not Q&A, but in my 600 subscriber announcement, I wouldn't have put Bone Trousel if I didn't like Undertale. Because the Undertale's awesome, and Papyrus is my favorite character. Because he likes spaghetti, and I love spaghetti. <laughs> nice. Alright. Uh, so, from Predator 5 Rules... Congrats on getting 600 subscribers. And here's my question. Will you eventually start making fantasy role plays like Vampire Girls, Werewolf Girls, uh, Snake Girls, Mermaid, Elf Girls, Nikos, Fox Girls, etc.? Or will you just stick with the human role plays? Either one is fine with me. Um, I'm definitely going to be starting more of those fantasy role plays. I was thinking about doing a sort of vampire 
esque roleplay, but of course I would be a werewolf because there is no way I am giving up my ears and tail just so I can have fangs, and only <laughs> fangs. And and if anybody is even asking, do I like Twilight? No, I do not. I think those books are very much overrated, and the writing is, uh, it's just awful. I, I didn't like Twilight. I didn't even like the movies. I didn't read the books. I didn't even bother with getting into that phantom. But I do plan on doing those types of role plays later on in the future. And, um... Uh, I just... I, uh, I don't know. I can't speak! Okay. Well, then I'll take over. Okay, from Jade Snow. Question for Kiba. Would you ever do a collaboration with your mom? Mum, nope, you're over, you're over the, you're over the water, uh, from us. Would you ever do a collaboration with your mum for any of your videos? Also, if you could have one animal sidekick, what would you have? Let's see. Uh, yes, for more collaborations with my mom. Yes, with mom. Mum would love it <laughs> because uh, I, I, I want to help my mom get out of her shell a little bit. She's more <laughs> shy than me. I am very shy. I'm really like stepping out of my comfort zone here. But she's awesome. And uh, if I could have an uh, animal sidekick. Um, well, I already have my wolf, but I, if I had another animal sidekick, it would probably cloud my judgment for certain things. But, um, okay. Also from Jade Snow, and question for Kiba's mom. So first, do you listen to Kiba's audios? I, I have. I, I would, uh, bad mom here. Uh, I'm gonna lose my supporters. I haven't listened to all of them, but I will. <laughs> All right, and uh, and two, what animal would you be if you made a video with Kiva? Oh, a cat, for sure. I would love to be a cat. I'm going to be chasing you up a tree. I know, but, I know. But I love you. I, I love, love you, you too, mm, I love you, Mom. Okay. So, um, let's see. Another question. Wait, nope, that's, uh, here we go. Uh, from uh, Tilmer's Poops. Okay. <laughs> Um, this Question. one, yeah. Question for Kiba. How and when did you get... <laughs> Question for Kiba. How and when did you get to the ASMR scene? As in, what was the first ASMR video you saw? Well, the first ASMR video I saw was, um, actually, uh, oh, I can't even remember. It's been a while. I first got into ASMR by looking up, uh certain meditation tracks to help me sleep on YouTube when I found uh, something with the username of Jiggy Wiggy ASMR. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll check that out. I've, heard, I've never heard of ASMR before. So I clicked on it, and I instantly fell in love with what Jiggy did. And uh, then I saw Carlin's channel when Jiggy and Carlin did the parody of You Got a Friend in Me from Toy Story, and I laughed, and I thought it was funny. <laughs> So, um, I got into Carlin's channel, then I found, uh, the Grey Knights and Gale's, um, channels and Cabin in the Woods and all those other guys, and I got into ASMR, and actually, last November was when I first started making videos, um, that was, uh, during the first, um, when I got the, my microphone, and also, uh, when my first, uh, official audio roleplay came out, and not my announcement audio for, hey, I'm going to be doing audios. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I got into ASMR just by clicking on a random video, and here I am now. All right. All right, and question for Kiba's mom. Did you ever get into your wolf daughter's room while she was recording? Would be funny to see a bloopers video oh, one day. I wish we had some, but no, I, um, I, um, one of the things I pride myself on as a mom is uh, privacy for, for Kiba. And um, I hear her in here once in a while, and, and uh, I just let her do her thing. So, uh, sorry, no bloopers. But I love bloopers, so <laughs> I get the question. You know, we have actually been making bloopers while we're recording this. You guys won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys won't see it while the video goes on. But wait till the end. I'm going to edit it so that way you can hear all the bloopers there that's you, been There you go. On. Those are bloopers, yeah. <laughs> For sure. But um, what I usually do for privacy is uh, I tell my mom, um, once it's late at night, I tell my mom, since she's usually up this late, um, that I'm going to be uh, closing my door for privacy in order to make sure there's enough silence in my room to get the video. Um, 
nice and nice and uh, lack of a better word, like a uh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> blooper. Yeah, blooper. <laughs> uh, my mom, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but um, uh, I tell my mom that I'm gonna shut my door in order to keep my room quiet, so that way I can get a better sound quality while I'm recording. And uh, she's totally cool with that, and she hears my audio sometimes. And then once I'm done recording, I uh, draw the thumbnail, and then I publish the video and schedule it for 6 in the morning. My time, at least. Yeah. Okay. So, um, from General Asmel, uh, what was your inspiration for having your character be a kitsune slash fox girl? Great vids, by the way. Um... Uh, I don't know if you caught on, but I'm a wolf, not a fox. But uh, my inspiration was, again, um, looking at uh, different uh, type. I also actually was not only inspired by Spice and Wolf and Wolf's Reign, but also different types of uh, furries on the internet. The good pictures, not the 18 plus ones, because everybody knows furries because of that reason, and I don't understand why, because... Come on, guys. Furries are more than just wanting to have sex. I mean, seriously. You just look at a Russian and think, oh, he's an alcoholic. No. You think, oh, he's probably a nice guy. But no, as soon as someone looks at a furry, he's like, okay, hide the women and children. They're going to have sex with them. No. I mean, for God's sake. Come on. Why? <sighs> okay, I got that out. <laughs> Good. All right. From, let's see. Uh, from Lonely, uh, Lonely Emo Teen. Aw. Aw. <laughs> lonely Hi. Emo. You're, you're not alone. We I'm love not. you. Okay. Alright, if you had to be stuck in an elevator with three other people, either living or dead, who would you choose? Mom, you go first. Ooh. Is that for me? That's for both of us. We can do both. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do I have to pick three people? <laughs> it's just three people. Okay, uh, three people. My dad, uh, keep his grandpa. He's, he, he's fantastic. He is. He's awesome. Good soul. And uh, so, oh, Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> there. Yeah, I, that was it. Um, that's two. That's two. And um, Kiba. <laughs> How about that? My dad, Seth MacFarlane, and Kiba. I would just be freaking out if Seth MacFarlane was in there. I'd just be asking all these questions about how to be a good animator and uh, yeah. everything. I'd, I'd be geeking out. You just... I'd... You and Grandpa would just be sitting there quietly trying to get your questions out while I'm freaking out in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now for me. um, Let's see. One of the people I would have in the elevator with me would be Adam West. He... Uh, yeah. um, He's a he's a great voice actor, um, and he's a, actually one of my favorite voice actors because one of my favorite superheroes that he actually played uh, back in the in the nineteen sixties was uh, Batman. If you guys uh, didn't know, and uh, yeah, I liked Adam West's work, especially on Family Guy. I thought he was really funny. So um, Adam West is one of my uh, people I want to be in the elevator with. Uh, the next one would probably be Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., I should nice. say. Because um, I found him really inspirational. And especially when we were learning about him in school. I thought he was a really passionate guy. And I really would like to learn how you know, he felt during the time of just uh, African Americans being repressed. And I thought... It would be amazing to talk to him. And the final person I would want in the elevator with me. You know, the rules doesn't say if it could be an animated character, so... Stewie. I'm... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's Stewie Griffin. That's Stewie cool. and Brian. <laughs> you can just say Seth MacFarlane. I know, you the voices. Care, I love him. <laughs> I love this question. Okay. Alright. You pick your last one. Okay, so, um... Actually, you know what? Another person I would want in the elevator with me, who's not an animated character, would be James Baxter. And if you guys do not know who he is, he is the supervising animator for DreamWorks 2002 
movie Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, and he's also the guy who um, is uh, on the DVD special features. He teaches you how to draw a spirit, and um, actually that was the first video I saw that actually really got me into drawing, and I thought it was really cool, and it really got me into thinking, oh, what can I do for uh, drawing? And I really got into horses in that time. And I was really into drawing because of that, and yeah, I just took off. And here I, here we are today. Alrighty, so that is it for all the questions. Thank you all so much yeah, for thank asking. Yeah, you. And, and thank you all so much for the nice comments. Oh, yeah. Especially once for my mom because yeah. she is the most supportive person and the, on the planet, especially with my stuff. Because even if she doesn't quite grasp the con a concept of uh, audios, um, it makes me so happy that she supports me. And I love you so much, I mom. I love you, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks to your subscribers and the questions and all the support. It's just a a, a compliment. A nice word goes so far. Mm -hmm. I also want to thank um, my Patreon supporters oh, so yeah. far. The ones that will have to get your new mic. Exactly. I'm getting $5 so far yeah. on Patreon. <laughs> Swimming pools, movie stars. <laughs> oh, look out, Peter Pie. I'm coming for you. Yeah, one subscriber at a time. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much, and we'll be back. All well, right. This is it. But before we go, I oh, do want to make <laughs> I do want to make um, a couple announcements. Um, one, once this audio gets up on YouTube, I will not be um, replying to comments right away, as I will be moving actually to, um, tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna be moving down with my dad, so you guys can hear his voice, and my mom is gonna stay here and live with my grandpa and my grandma. And, uh, my sister. Yeah! So, uh, my sister and I are trading places. She lived with my dad, and, uh, she, I lived with my mom, so we're gonna trade places. And, uh, also, um, uh, there's going to be a sale going on at my, uh, store. Now, if you guys, uh, didn't know about, uh, my Spreadshirt.com store, you can check it out in the, the link in the description, and also the little annotation, the annotation card right at the top right corner. And what it is, is a 20% discount off of uh, two or more items oh, no that uh, people will buy. Nice. Uh, so, um, it's, uh, it, the deal runs from May 15th to May 21st, and uh, you can get a 20% discount off of any two items or more that you buy. And the coupon code is uh, 20P517. You use that code, and you will get the discount. It'll be in the description below, and also it will be right next to me on screen while I am talking about this. But, um, yeah, so those were all the questions, and also the shameless, here, go check out my shop. I know. Thing. I'm going to buy two coffee mugs. <laughs> but, yeah, if you guys want to go check out the shop, if you want to check out my Patreon, that is awesome, and we'll see you all soon. All right, thanks. Thanks again, Mom. Um, cool. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Thanks, Mom. Right. I love you. I love you too.